This is Edwempa, a normal guy with big ambitions. He plans to study, get a driver's license, marry him for sure, to get a well-paid job. He is motivated, but trough the amount of organizations he loses the overview and feels even intimidated. Where do I have to go next? What do I have to bring with me? And why in triplicate? What? You need one more certification? Nobody told me about this. All of these questions are ordinary, but does it have to be this complicated? He is annoyed and tired. It's different from what he expected and the lady at the counter was friendly at all. What he doesn't know, because the IT department did not found a technical issue yet. The lady at the counter needs to do her fifth extra hour this week. She spends all her time in the archives to search for the documents she needs. The lady, the organization and it went but feel left alone. In addition, it turns out that the organization the lady is working in got hacked. Criminals have stolen personal data of the lady, Inwempa and other citizens and commit offenses on their behalfs. Fortunately, the whole thing is just a bad nightmare. Because his government pooled and united the capacities of the country back then, for which Edwempa is still grateful today. Because while Edwempa's father still experienced how everything had to be done on site in the past and often waited weeks because communication between the organizations took a long time until applications were processed. Today this is done digitally and is a thing of the past. Today, Edwempa can take care of everything in a relaxed manner and in just a fraction of the time, thanks to the Digital Citizen Office. But how does it work? Let's take a closer look. All of the official organizations are digital and closely linked with each other. In short, you will find the contact person you need and the solution for every concern from now on in your citizen's office. A relay race from one organization to another is history. But having to go to the citizen's office yourself is not absolutely necessary. Because you have the electronic ID for this, you can access them from anywhere with your smartphone. If you have any questions or an urgent matter, the solution will be there for you in just a few seconds. For sure, the contact to your digital citizen office is confidential and fully encrypted. Just as quickly as your request was received, the answer to it is already there. And what if someone pretends to be you and has your smartphone? No worries. The app on your smartphone is just the access to your digital citizen office. To enter, you need an entrance ticket. As mentioned before, your electronic ID. In addition, the access is secured with your individual password. This makes it impossible for unauthorized and criminals to gain access to your confidential data. But what else does the digital citizen office offer? Let's take a look at Edwempa. Today he gets a notification from his health insurance organization that there are new possibilities in his asthma therapy and that checking his blood values would be a good idea. Or he can cast his vote in the regional election with just a click, of course with a two-factor authentication, as with all important things. Of course, he knows to whom he owes the digital citizen office in his comfort and will show his appreciation. But if things go bad for him, and if he should be ill, he always has his friend and helper by his side. The state always knows where his address or place of residence is to help him in every situation in life. And thanks to the electronic ID, documents such as medical records, birth certificates or passports are always at hand when you need them. Time flies. He experiences the change of the digital citizen's office up close. The digital ID can be continuously expanded according to the needs of the people and the state. The key advantage? The state is not tied to updated structures and can devote itself to important and great projects. While Wempa saves time and effort, the state and the organization save money. A lot of money. The Digital Citizens Office supports the individual organizations to work efficiently, so they can do significantly more in the same time. And web as personal data are available at any time and if something is missing, the organizations can transfer data to each other in real time. 
but every organization only has certain restricted access to individual data, which is also their concern. With the Digital Citizens Office, the focus is on people, so that the people behind the individual organizations are also held. The lady at the counter never has to sort files again and extra hours is a thing of the past for her too. Today she can devote herself to her work with pleasure, just like the people from IT, who are supported by the high security standards of the Digital Citizens Office. Today you can help to create a Ghana of tomorrow in dialogue with its citizens for an effective management. Together we create great things, so let us create a place where we can be together.